Hi, this is Matt Burns from the University of Missouri. Um, we're here today doing something a little different. We're going to make a video that demonstrates how to do repeated reading in an online platform like Zoom. And I'm fortunate enough to have someone help me today. I have uh, Emma. Say hi, Emma. Hi. Who is in uh, seventh, uh, sixth grade. And she's going to uh, do a, a reading intervention with me today. She's just doing this to help out. She's a good reader. Okay, Emma. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to share my screen. And what I've done to do repeated reading is all you have to do is get a passage that is at the child's instructional level, at the student's instructional level. So I just kind of picked one here for, for, for Emma. It'll work fine. So I'm going to share this so she can see it. So she's on Zoom with me. I'm simply going to share my screen. I picked out this passage that should be pretty close to what we need for her level. Okay, you see it, Emma? Emma? Now I'm going to have her read yeah. out to me for one minute. So I tell you to start, you begin. Are you ready? Mm -hmm. Okay, go ahead and start. In 1925, a boy was born in Ohama, Nebraska. His name was Malcolm Little. At his birth, no one would, no one realized that he he would grow up to be one of the most influent. So, so I can't see. It's okay, keep going. African American leaders of all time. The little boy would become an become an important defender as American African American rights. Malcolm was inspired by his father and by his own experiences. Malcolm Malcolm's father was heavily involved in racism. In 1931, his father was found dead on some steer car tracks. Malcolm strongly believed that his father was murdered by white racists. After his father's death, Malcolm, Malcolm's mother couldn't cope. Eventually, okay, stop there. Okay. She stopped on the word, oops. You stopped on the word cope, okay? So that means you read, I'm gonna count them. See my little, my cursor there? Uh -huh. Yep, so you read one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70, 71, 72, 73, 74, 75, 76, 77, 78, 79, 80, 81, 82, 83, 84, 85, 86, 87, 88, 89, 90, 91, 92, 93, 94, 95, 96, 97, 98. So you had 98 words in that one minute, but you, I saw five that you didn't read the correct way. One, two, three, four, five. And I'll show, the, show you those in a second. So that means 98 minus five is 93. You read 93 words in one minute. So I'm going to stop sharing. I'm going to share a different screen. So I have a graph started here for Emma's reading. And we have cold read, hot read. The cold read is the first read that you do. So the first read that she did, she read 93 words in that one minute. Okay, so I'll put that in there. Now, I'm going to have her practice twice and then do a hot read and see how much the score goes up. Okay. Okay. So let me do this. I'm going to reshare. Okay, let's look at some of the words that were hard. This word is Omaha. Can you say that, please, Emma? Omaha. Omaha. Correct. Omaha. It's a city in Nebraska. Omaha. Let's start right here and read that sentence again, please. In 1925, a boy was born in Omaha, Nebraska. Good, very good. This word here is influential. Can you say that, please? In influential. It's hard to say, isn't it? Influential. Try. Influential. Yeah, in good. Influential is down here, meaning having the power to produce effects on others. Influential. Let's have you start... Um, Let's start right here at the word he. He would grow up to be one of the most influential American Afri American Africans in, in American African American African American leaders. Mm -hmm. Good. You skip the word of right here. What word is that? Of all time. Yeah, good. That's good. 
Um, you also, I kind of skip that word, fighting. Can you say fighting, please? Fighting. Good, fighting. Start right here and read that sentence again. Start right here. Malcolm's father was heavily involved in fighting racism. Good. One more word is this one here. It's a funny one. Street. Can you say that, please? Streetcar? Streetcar. Yep, very good. Streetcar. Start right here and read that sentence, please. Where? Here. Okay, see that. He was found dead on, on some streetcar tracks. Very good. Okay, good job. This time, so last time, Emma, you read to here. Emma, you read the word cope. Now, this time you read it, see if you can get past the word cope, okay? Okay. So start right here and read again for one minute. Go ahead. In 1925, a boy was born in Ohama, Nebraska. His name was Malcolm Little. As his, at his birth, no one realized that he would grow up to be one of the most important defenders of all American... Uh, wait. Go up to be one of the most influential American Good. leaders of all time. The leader, the the little boy would grow. The little boy would be an important defender of all American rights. Malcolm was inspired by his father and by his own experiences. Malcolm's father was heavily involved in fighting racism. In 1931, he was found dead on some streetcar track. Malcolm strongly believed that his father was murdered by some white racists. After his father's death, Malcolm, Malcolm's mother couldn't cope. Eventually, she was committed to a mental hospital. He was forced to spend okay, the good job. Yeah, all the way down to this one right here. So way past it. So I didn't, I'm not going to worry about the number of errors, but you read 98, 99, 100. One, two, three, four, five, six hundred and six. Good job. Okay, let's go back and do a few of the words. This one's a hard word. It really is. Can you say Omaha? Omaha. Say it again, please. Omaha. Very good. Omaha. So read that sentence again, please. In 1925, a boy was born in Omaha, Nebraska. Good. Let's do this whole phrase here. Influential African-American. Say influential, please. Influential African American Good. leaders of all time. Good. Read. Start right here and read that again. Would he would start with the word he? He would grow up to be one of the most influential African American leaders of all time. Good. So what word is this? African and African American rights. Good. Good. African American. Very good job. There was one more word that you skipped. Um, where did it go? Um, I think maybe you read the word be has become. That's what you did. Okay, that's good. All right. So that was a good job. So we'll do another one. Start at the top. And then after this one, we do errors. We correct again. And then one final read, and then you'll be done. Then we'll graph it. Okay. Start with for one minute. In 1925, a boy was born in Ohama. That's okay. No. Omaha. Nebraska, Nebraska. His name was Malcolm Little. As his birth, no one realized that he could grow up to be one of the most influential African American leaders of all time. The little boy would the the little boy would become an important defender of African American rights. Malcolm was inspired by his father and by his own experiences. Malcolm's father was heavily involved in fighting racism. In 1931, he was found on some street car tracks. Malcolm, Malcolm strongly believed that his father was murdered by some right, white racist. After his father's death, Malcolm, Malcolm's mother couldn't cope. Eventually, she was committed to a mental hospital. He was forced to spend the rest of his childhood in foster homes. And in late teens, Malcolm, Malcolm moved to Boston. Hey, stop there. Good job, all the way down to here in his late teens. Very good. Okay, so that was the last practice read. Let's do a couple more corrections. We'll try Omaha one more time. It's a hard word to say. Say Omaha, please. Omaha. Say Omaha. Omaha. Read that sentence again, starting right here. In 1925, a boy was born in Omaha, Nebraska. Good. You got influential, right? Good job. Say that word, please. Influential. Good. And you read African-American correctly. Say that, please. African-American. 
Good. Then you skipped a few words. So let's just look at those. Um, you said here, you said as his birth, but it's at his birth. Say it, please. At his birth. Yeah, good. That's fine. Um, and here you read the word would as could. What word is this? Would. Yep. Start here and read this sentence. No one, no one yep. realized that he could, he would grow up good. to be one of the most influential African Americans, le leaders of all this time. Okay, very good. Um, I think you also missed the word his right here. What's that word? His. Good, his. Very good job. Okay, his. Now, so this is it. We're going to have to read one more time. Then we'll go back and count the words. And then we will, um, we will graph it again. You ready? Mm-hmm. Start whenever you're ready. Where do I start? At the, at the, at the beginning again in 1925. Okay. In 1925, a boy was born in Omaha, Nebraska. His name was Malcolm Little. At, at his birth, no one realized that he would grow up to be one of the most influential. Hold on, you, you, Paul, you froze for a second. Give it a second. Okay, Emmy, can you hear me? Oh, you're doing good. Okay, Emmy, Emmy, I need you to stop for a second. You're you're froze up a little bit, okay? So you left off at most right here, influential African American leaders of all time. You know what though? Just to be safe, why don't we go to the go start all over again, okay? I'm sorry. Okay, okay start at the beginning whenever you're ready. In 1925, a boy was born in Omaha, Nebraska. His name was Malcolm Little. At his birthplace, no one realized that he would grow up to be one of the most, in, mo, one of the most in, influential African American leaders of all this time. The little boy would become an important defender of African American rights. Malcolm was inspired by his father and his own experiences. Malcolm, Malcolm's father was heavily involved in racism. In 1931, he was found dead on some street car, street car tracks. Malcolm strongly believed that his father was murdered by white racists. After his father, Malcolm, Malcolm's mother couldn't cope. Eventually, she was committed to a mental hospital. He was forced to spend the rest of his life in childhoods. In <laughs> in foster homes. In his late teens, Malcolm moved to Boston and, and he stopped there. Okay, you went all the way down to here again. It was late teens. Okay. Good. You, but yeah, you, silly mistake there. You corrected it. It's okay. So let's see how many you read. This was 98 right here. So 99, 100, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, with only two errors. So 123 minus two is 121. So the errors you skip the word fighting, kind of an important word to skip. Uh, Malcolm's father was heavily involved in fighting racism. And you read it, Malcolm's father was heavily involved in racism. Please, in fighting racism. Can you say that, please? Say fighting. What's that word? Yeah, she can't hear me. It's okay. Having some technical difficulties. Can you see this word right here? That's okay. The word is fighting. That's okay. We'll come back to that. So now, Emmy, I'm going to stop sharing. Can you hear me now, Emmy? What? Emma, can you hear me now? Yes. Okay, good. So you skipped the word fighting. You said he was involved in racism, and he was involved in fighting racism. And you also skipped the word death. You read uh, Malcolm's father's death. But that's okay. We'll, we'll, we won't worry about that for now. So let's change this. Get this out of the way. Good. Okay. So you went from 93 to 123. It's a huge jump. Good job. Really good job. And that, let me stop share. You can see the screen. Oh, by the way, I always do this one in blue and this one in red. This is the cold read. This is the hot read. First read, the last read. Okay. And that is it. Thanks, Emma. Are you still there? Yeah. Okay, good. That's it. That's how you do repeated reading in a virtual okay. environment. Thanks. Bye, Emma. Say bye.
bye.